How's it going, Critter Family? I hope you all are doing well. We're going over a video by Garrett, I don't know his last name, of American Standard Dog Training, um, and his, his video titled, Addressing the BS. So there are allegations against him, apparently that he had punched a dog in the head. I think that would be the better. I mean, I'm not in support of it, but I think it would be better than what he actually did. Um, you know, which we'll see. I, it's all the same. It's all abuse in my book. Um, so he he's just trying to gaslight everybody and paint it in a certain way that the owners loved their dog. And, and even though the owner caused the dog, and yes, I say caused the dog to, to bite them twice because they were trying to deal with the dog the best they could, in his words, to stop resource guarding. This dog is three years old about 90 pound German Shepherd named Ace, and it's been in three different homes. So apparently the Brito, Brito, Breeder reached out to this guy personally um, and said, hey, I don't know who else can help because apparently they're, they're, they don't, <laughs> they don't think of anybody force free. So tells you a whole lot about who, you know, how the, the, the Breeder thinks and, and raises dogs. Um, you know, anyway, they reached out to him and said, you know, if you can't help him, I don't know who can. This dog's going to die, blah, blah, blah. So it's another one of those, oh, Garrett's saving this dog. And, you know, in the name of abuse, he's saving the dog. But, okay, this is just my opinion. Um, all the footage that I'm going to be using here is being used for under Fair Use Act for education, criticism, um, trying to be transparent, give a voice to the dog, give an educated opinion, give a you know, an opinion from common sense. This guy here is not educated. If he is, he is not showing any education from anywhere in the last recent, I'll even give him 20 years. Um, the way he trains is, you know, he, he his, his business name is American Standard Dog Training. The way he trains might have been the standard for American dog training in the 40s or the 50s. 70 Seven zero or eighty eight zero years ago, not eighteen. Eighty years ago, seventy years ago. A lot has changed, even in the past ten years, twelve years that I've owned my Shiba, and you know that I've been I went to school and all that. That's still changing. So there's no excuse for this, absolutely no excuse. It is. It is. It is arrogance, it is ignorance, it is ego, pride, greed, wrath, <laughs> whatever, you know. It is just mommy issues, personal issues, whatever it is, that he refuses to change and learn. But with dogs, you know, until it becomes a standard in society or you need licensing or they outlaw certain types of training or tools, um, prong collars, e collars, shock collars, star mark collars, any choke chains, um, slip leads, dominance theory, pack theory, all that nonsense, you know, Caesar Milan. Until they outlaw that here, you can pretty much do anything to a dog. And as long as you say it's training, you can pretty much blatantly abuse your dog. Dog Daddy does. This guy does. So his original video was put out, he blurred out the section that we are going to see, but then he undid the blurring. Uh, he's showing us the original. He blurred it himself because he said in his own words that along the lines of that YouTube, if YouTube saw it, he didn't think YouTube would approve of it. He didn't think other people would approve of it. He calls people who would be, um, you know, find it offensive. He said that they, they're too soft. So because I choose not to take my dog with two prong collars, on in cross ties and just go to town at them for I don't know what does he say 1.5 seconds or five seconds I don't care if it's it's you know one thousandth of a second that is still too much especially for a dog with a bite history who is in a muzzle and cross ties with two prong collars on and cannot fight back so you're not saving anything, Garrett. The owner's not saving anything. We're gonna get started. I will give you a warning before we show the actual video because it is 
pretty traumatic. Um, when it is blurred, it is even worse, so I, I'm not going to be showing that part. The audio alone is traumatizing to me. Um, because your, your, imagine, your imagination is left to go wild. So, we're going to get into this. What you want to see in this video is what's considered a leash pop correction. Yeah, a he's trying to, um, what is it? explain away you know, he's trying to justify the correction in my opinion abuse he's trying to justify it he's fighting an animal that has no way to fight back no way to defend itself he's causing extreme pressure and pain and fear to flood this dog he's been working with this dog for four hours when you're working with any any animal, you don't learn for four hours, especially not if you're in fight or flight. It, it's just called flooding. You force them, you know, force them to face their fears, and after so long, the animal just gives up. It doesn't learn diddly squat. Nothing about this man is impressive. A very heavy series of heavy multiple leash pop corrections. Again, nothing that we would ever suggest you do to a dog of this nature. If you do it wrong and you don't do it enough or hard enough, that dog will turn on you and will absolutely bite you. Just Yeah, but that's why you have this dog with a muzzle on, right? Right, so you're safe. But, and you have the owner with the prong collar on one end, you have a prong collar on the other end, two prong collars, and this dog has a muzzle on. And it doesn't matter how, it, nobody prof professional being paid to or not should ever attempt this ever, especially not with a dog that is aggressive or reactive, especially not for a dog with a bite history, because this is guaranteed to make the behavior worse. This dog will become a ticking time bomb and stop showing, if it already has, stop showing the very predictable behavior that we can expect to, you know, that would lead a dog up to a bite. You know, they may pin their ears, they have whale eyes, they close their mouth, they have short lips, they lip lick, then they start showing teeth, low growl, low grumble, they get stiff. And then after that growl, if we continue to punish that because we're ignorant, or we think that we know better because we're humans and we have opposable thumbs, then it goes straight to a bite. And when you, when you stop the warning signs, the dog goes straight to a bite. And when you stop that, the dog is going to build up and build up and build up. And one day we'll, we'll turn on the owner again. We'll turn on a child, a stranger walking by, another dog, an animal. This dog, this guy is effectively, in my opinion, signing this dog's death warrant. It's a three-year-old dog. He's, he's bound to lose his mind at some point. I mean, if not, then this dog has a miserable life in store, store of him and, in, in, you know, in store for him. That's just what I predict, but, and the fact that he says, if you don't do it enough and you don't do it hard enough, what does that mean? You beat someone hard enough that they don't ever, you put the fear of God into them that you don't, they don't ever think about crossing you again? That's not training. That's just abuse. Physical, mental, psychological, emotional. Like Ace would have or could have uh, if no, he No, he couldn't have. He tried to tell you to back off because you were in his face because you were being stupid. He tried to tell you to back off, but he couldn't because he has a muzzle on, because you're a pussy, and you're worried about protecting yourself, but you can go on abusing animals, you can go on just tearing into them with a prong collar, two of them, so you're safe. Okay. He didn't do it correctly. It's what's considered- No, it's not about correctly, dumbass. Stop lying, stop, just stop. It's not about correct. None of this is correct. There's no right way to it. An overcorrection. But the reason we blurred it was three reasons. Number one, we felt that YouTube might demonetize it 
or or just as uh, they should shadow ban it, whatever you want to call they it, should. that it would not be viewable by others. Number one. Number two, simply put, many folks out there are not are, are too soft, we should say, too soft to understand the reality of dealing with an aggressive dog like this. And I'll repeat it again. This was not going to get fixed with a hug, a kiss, or a treat. So, we hurry here, folks. Apparently, this uneducated, old-school pussy of a trainer says that it's his way is the only way that you could ever get this across. You know, just abuse animals, and but don't you do it, because he doesn't want to be sued. So he's saying, I'm saying don't do this, but I'll do it. Like that. So that's... New for extra aggressive dogs. So this is one, if he wants to wild out... And... Jesus. So just, the dog's just leaning over there and the owner just jerks him back. She's going to go after anybody. We ain't going to get anybody. Right. Okay. okay. So here he's trying to touch him. The dog goes to snap in a, in a muzzle. Owner tightens up. And then now, if you want to turn off or go forward about you know 20 seconds or so, Mr. I forget his name, Garrett, is going to give five extremely harsh leash corrections. So go ahead and, and skip to this timestamp now. Like that. That was the dog vocalizing. Okay. There you go. Like that. And I'm not mad at And there was a cut. All right, welcome back. Um, shortly after that, you know, whatever you missed was he went very harshly down. The dog vocalized multiple times, not a yelp, but a, a like a, a whimper from a closed mouth. I mean, I am just speechless. He stands by it. He says it in his own words. And then he has the audacity to say, I'm not mad at him, but that's all, all you are. He took it personally. The dog would try to bite him because he was touching them on the flank. <sighs> this man is dangerous, as dangerous as dog daddy. Maybe more because he tries to hide it through a blurred picture. He should be in prison, in my opinion, just like Dog Daddy. I said this will be a short video. I think it, it will be. I mean, there's nothing else. I, I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. He's kissing him. Blah, blah, blah. So, there's that. You know, we can look at my sweet little boy here. He could have easily... He was on the road... We were on the road together. I would have caused him to become ace um, if if he hadn't, you know, woken me up and and demanded that I do better by him. He demanded respect, and you know, I I didn't like the trainers I was working with. You know, they they had me use prong collars and choke chains on him, and and I was doing. I want to be fully transparent. I gave Adonis corrections like you saw. Garrett give to this dog. Now there wasn't a cross tie. There was one prong collar. When Adonis was between six months and a year and a half, when I was working with very ignorant, dangerous trainers like Garrett, I did that, and it made Adonis's behavior go figure how much worse. And I didn't like where it was going. And lo and behold, we found somebody at PetSmart. I think her name was um, Sarah, and her she had a German Shepherd named Jessica, um, like a 14-year-old or 11-year-old, um, much older German Shepherd, and I owe a lot to them, um, you know, and I owe a lot to this little man. I love him so dearly. I miss him dearly. 
and I will do everything in my path to make him proud and to stand up for what's right, stand up against what's wrong, you know, call out the baloney for what it is, um, and try to give dogs the best life I possibly can. Like I tried to give him, and I want to do even better in the future. You know, there's a lot of things that I, I could have done better with him. But, you know, dogs are amazing. They don't hold grudges. You know, they, they when you treat them with respect and you treat them right, they let you know. So thank you for sticking by. I'm sorry this was a, a very, I don't know. This was a whole, whole thing in this video. This is a whole up and down, a whole ride. Um, so hopefully next videos won't be nearly as crazy, but this guy is a clown. He's a joke. He should be in prison. He should never be allowed to work with or own or even look at another animal. Um, it's scary. But in the meantime, please go give your loved ones, your human loved ones, let them know you love them. Give your little critters some kind of loving that you know that they enjoy, you know, because we could say that, you know, <laughs> I could kiss Adonis on the head, you know, his little spot right here between his little eyeballs and he would accept it, but he didn't really care for it. Um, but you know, he would love it when I would give him, of course, little goodies, you know, uh, um, a, a turkey tendon, you know, give him some kind of loving that they appreciate. Say hi to everybody for me until next time. Stay positive.